So here's some molluscum. This is one of the most difficult pediatric eye procedures. So this is a molluscum, it's an umbilicated lesion. You want to get underneath the lesion like this. Grasp it with a sterile forceps. Make sure that every one of them is drawn on the body, whether it be around the eyelids or on the significantly lower eyelids for surgical privileges sakes. For instance, on the legs and the armpits, under the neck. It's particularly challenging when monitors, blood pressure cuffs, and airways are being taped to be sure that you have all of the molluscum lesions identified so parents can do this well with a marking pen before surgery, perhaps in a bath the night before. To be honest, on your first pass. Did he swing at you? <laughs> then usually they're smart enough not to volunteer to do the remaining several hundred. Now notice notice these underneath. In the fold of the neck, it'd be very easy to miss these if mom didn't identify them ahead of time. Each one of these is a little multinucleated giant cell combination. And they tend to erupt, sort of like this one is doing. Or baby. They're usually not highly contagious within a family. I'm trying to keep it out of his way on the neck. <laughs> we did good on the neck. This is the umbilicated part, which is kind of erupting, where a lot of the viruses, or viri, live. And they sort of build themselves a castle so that they can be isolated from the immune system. So our immune system doesn't, is not very effective at fighting warts, mainly because the warts build their own castle. So we're going to knock their castle down. So part of, part of getting it to bleed like this is actually allowing our own immune system to get to them.